You're listening to Bodhi Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. Hello, this is Miao Guang. Today's Bodhi Light Tales is watching the door. A long time ago, in a small city, lived a wealthy man called Rick. He worked for a big company, and his loyal butler was named Jerry. One day, Rick had an urgent matter he had to deal with, and was unsure of when he would return. So he said to Jerry, "I am going to be out for a couple of days, so please be sure to watch the doors while I'm away." "Yes, sir, will do," Jerry promised. Not long after Rick left, Jerry heard drums and music coming from the streets. Being a small city, everything that happened was known to everybody. Jerry quickly went to see what was going on. "What's happening?" Jerry asked someone passing in the street. "It's a musical performance. They are only here for a day. You should go see them." "Wow, a musical is in town!" Jerry exclaimed. "How exciting!" I would love to see it. Jerry went back to the house and started to get ready to go watch the musical. But as he stepped through the door, he remembered Rick's words: "Watch the doors." He thought to himself, "I really want to see the musical. What should I do?" Jerry had always obeyed Rick's orders. He knew better than to anger Rick. He remembered how frightening Rick would be when he was angry, but the burning need to see the musical was too strong, and so Jerry kept thinking and thinking. Finally, he thought he had found a solution. I know. All I must do is bring the doors with me. This way, I can watch the musical and the doors at the same time. What a great idea! Jerry thought. Feeling very pleased and happy with his idea, Jerry began to take the doors off their hinges one by one. As he did, he thought he was the smartest person in the world. I am such a genius! I can't believe I thought of this brilliant solution. Jerry said to himself with a big grin. Carrying the doors with him, Jerry went to the musical. He spent the whole afternoon watching both the doors and the musical. What he did not know, however, was that Rick had returned home that very afternoon. Even worse, everything in the house had been stolen. Rick was beyond furious. When Jerry got home. Rick was waiting there for him with his arms crossed. Immediately, he screamed at Jerry. "I thought I told you to watch the doors." "Yes, yes. Look, sir, here they are," Jerry said proudly, pointing to the doors he had taken with him. He continued, "I watched them carefully the whole time you were gone. I kept my promise and..." I think I did a good job watching them. Don't you think so? Rick was utterly speechless, and Jerry still had no idea what he had done. This story reminds us to have right view and right understanding. Just as Venerable Master Xingyun says, right thinking is more important than health. A good heart is more important than knowledge. Every experience is a footstep in the future. Every failure or success is a glimpse into the future. From this story, we can ask ourselves: Have we made a choice based on our own needs without realizing we are losing what is important to us? Our unthoughtful decisions sometimes can be both harmful and dangerous. 
Sometimes we even think that we have found a solution to our problems, which only gets us into deeper trouble. Therefore, it is most important to be aware of the mistakes we make and also to learn from them. Our views determine our actions, and our actions bring positive or negative results. With right view and right understanding, we will be guided in making better choices. This is Miao Guang. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to us and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom.